Hey, welcome. I thought this is a good time to show you guys some basics when doing a 100 hour or annual on the R66 helicopter. I'll tell you now, this video is more tips and hints for already knowledgeable and capable aircraft mechanics or pilots that are familiar with the equipment but maybe surface level. Now it's at a scheduled maintenance inspection and we're gonna get a little more involved. So with that being said, we'll come, we'll come around the aircraft and I'll show you a few things that we can expect to do. Again, this is not a how to do an annual inspection. It's just some minor tips and hints that could uh, potentially save you a little bit of time. All right, we need to remove the aft cow. That thing it goes from about there to there. We need to remove it. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna remove this screw, leave these engaged, then remove these screws. There's going to be a trick here. We want to wipe this with isopropyl. Just get remove the dirt and then put tape here. So when, when you remove this aft cow, it doesn't chafe here or scrape. Same thing on the other side. Leave these fasteners engaged for now. Remove the screws going down. Remember this screw right up here. And then before you remove these fasteners to remove this aft cow, you want to make sure you put tape there and there. I'll show you what I mean. Your goal is you want to use just enough uh you really, you're not gonna get a whole lot of dirt, but you'll get some dirt, right? And you just want the tape to be able to stick. So we don't get sideways about it. You just wanna put some tape on it, right? See how long those strips are. And then you wanna pay special attention right here to this edge, right? Cause this fairing, this strut fairing comes together right here and it creates a sharp corner right there. So you wanna, wanna be careful. Make sure you get enough tape over that point. At this point, you can remove the screws and it's not gonna be difficult to remove. The only gotcha is right about there on the inside so you can get underneath it and look up in there there's going to be an orange scat hose might have a band clamp on it industry practice what i've seen a lot is no band clamp just a scat hose over the uh it's an inlet it's a screen inlet it's for clean air anyway Make sure you check that out before you remove the aft cow, but outside of that, there's screws down the side and it's fairly simple. One man can do it. Check me out. Okay, so there were 10 screws total, five on each side. I like to have a uh, roll around cart. It's 
specifically for taking the aft fairings or the aft cows off the R44 and R66 helicopter is because I can rest the bottom of the fairing on my knees and grab the top and the bottom and roll back very slowly while I kind of work it loose. You'll see what I mean. So, the aft cow was fairly simple to remove. Um, one thing to note is it's good to have a big styrofoam block to set the aft cow on. Uh, I guess I should show you that real quick. So it's sitting in the upright position and I simply put a foam block underneath it. And that's, that's what I would recommend. Something to note is that since the turbine exhaust is right there, just underneath the tail, and since the exhaust is coming out of that aft cow, that aft cow or that aft fairing is gonna be very smutty almost like the nacelles around a uh, a King Air, right? It's gonna be very smutty. And so is the bottom of that tail onto the sides. It's gonna be very smutty all the way down. And it actually, it makes your candy cane dirty, tail rotor blade guard. <laughs> 